All right, uh, Tyler Clark again with the Tobacco Free Coalition. Paige Daniel back behind the camera. Uh, I want to show you our 2011 um, survey uh, of registered voters uh, for readiness for our smoke free bar campaign. Uh, you'll see right here is a picture of, of our, our, our fair city of Fayetteville. Uh, we have four wards uh, separated, uh, obviously, into four not yet not equal, but equal populated uh, wards. Uh, we want to do this evaluation to gauge community support and community readiness for a comprehensive smoke free policy. We wanted to answer questions posed by policymakers, the media, and the public, and the business community about the support we have. Uh, we asked three questions of each ward, and we had a thousand, per, thousand total participants, so about 250 per ward. Uh, ward one, uh, we asked the same question every single ward, but ward one, uh, question one, was uh, musicians, bartenders, and servers who work in bars and nightclubs deserve to work in a smoke-free environment. 81% of those people in Ward 1 agreed, 17% disagreed, and 2% were indifferent. Same question in Ward 2, 64% agreed, 32% disagreed, and 4% did not care. Ward 3, musicians, bartenders, same question, 73% agreed, 20% disagreed, and 7% agreed, or uh, were indifferent. Ward 4, same question, 69% agreed, 23% disagreed, and 8% were indifferent. So we average those together, we had a 72% uh, 72% of people agreed that uh, musicians, bartenders, and servers who work in bars and nightclubs deserve to be protected from secondhand smoke uh, and work in a smoke-free environment. 5% uh, were indifferent, uh, and then 23% uh, disagreed. Second question was, uh, customers, patrons of bars and nightclubs deserve to be protected from secondhand smoke. Ward 1 was consistently our highest ward. Uh, it was 75% uh, uh, agreed, 20% disagreed, and 5% were indifferent. Ward 2, 67% agreed, 29% disagreed, and 4% um, were indifferent. Ward 3, 69, 24, and 7. Ward 4, 66, 24, and 10. And finally, the total for this uh, second question was 69% agreed, 25% disagreed, and 6% were indifferent. Last question, would you support a ordinance that would make all bars and nightclubs in Fayetteville smoke free? 71% agreed, 27% disagreed, and 2% were indifferent. Ward 2, we had no, uh, no one uh, indifferent for this, but 61% agreed and 39% disagreed. Ward 3, 62% agreed, 38% disagreed. Same question, Ward 4, 62 and 38. As a total, 64% agreed, 1% was uh, indifferent, and 35% agreed. So this is the, the grand total, the survey results, 64% of those polls, they would support a smoke-free bar ordinance, 72% agreed that musicians, bartenders, and servers deserve to be protected from secondhand smoke, and 69% of uh, those polled said the bars, uh, tavern customers should be protected from secondhand smoke. Um, this was commissioned through a local research firm called American Arts and Research. Uh, it was a, not a scientific survey, it was a market survey. It's a little bit different, margin error was about 3.5%. Uh, but this gives us like a good barometer. We've done a study, a similar study like this, every year for the past uh, six years. So use the same um, surveyor. They help us with the questions, and they, they quantify who who to call. Um, and those people are all registered voters in Fayetteville. Have any questions about our surveys um, and how we commissioned them and what we did? Uh, you can give us a uh, contact us via our website is nwatfc.org or at our office at 479-872-5350, or via email, nwatfc at gmail.com. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you out there, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.